Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to find the equation of the plane, uh, and this point is on our plane, and our plane is perpendicular to this line. Okay, so solution. So to find the equation of the plane, we need two things. We need a point and we need a normal vector. So before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula that gives us the equation of the plane. The formula is a times x minus x1 plus b times y minus y1 plus c times z minus z1. And all of that is equal to zero. In this formula, this is the formula for the equation of a plane, uh, our x1, y1, z1 is a point that lies on our plane. So in this case, it's just these numbers here. So really simple. Uh, the tricky part is to find uh, ABC. ABC are the components uh, for our normal vector. So the vector ABC uh, is perpendicular to our plane. Okay. These are the symmetric equations of a line. Okay. If you remember from previous math, um, the vector that is parallel to this line is called the direction vector, and its components are 6, 1, negative 8. They come from here. Those are called direction numbers. Okay, so this vector is parallel to this line. Okay, this vector is parallel to this line. Our plane is perpendicular to this line. Therefore, our plane is perpendicular to this vector, so this is the normal vector. Again, this vector is parallel to this line. It's called the direction vector. Our plane is perpendicular to this line, therefore our plane is perpendicular to this vector because the vector is parallel to the line. So that's our ABC, right? That's our ABC. So a little bit harder, a little bit more thinking there. Let's plug everything in. So A is 6, X minus 8, plus, and then B is 1. That's Y minus 3. And then C is... Uh, negative 8, right? I'm looking here, A, B, C, almost messed up. Really easy to mess up on these. Uh, be really careful when you're doing these problems. A common mistake that I have found I make myself is just plugging in the wrong numbers. Like you do all the thinking, you write everything down and like, so you understand the problem, but you just make a silly mistake plugging in the numbers. So let's just check that. So A, B, C, that's our vector that's normal to our plane. It's perpendicular to our plane. So A, B, C, there it is. Uh, and then here's our point, 833, three, beautiful stuff. Okay, that's it. I mean, you could distribute and collect like terms. I guess I will. 6x, 6 times negative 8 is negative 48. Um, this is just going to be y minus 3. Hmm, negative 8 times z is negative 8z. Negative 8 times negative 3 is positive 24, and that's equal to 0. All right, so now we just collect like terms. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's see, so 6x plus y minus 8z. That takes care of the 6x, the y, and the 8z. And then we have negative 48 uh, plus 21. So negative 48 plus 21 equals 0. So now we just have to uh, combine these numbers. So we have 6x plus y minus 8z. I believe that's going to be um, negative 27. Right? If you have a negative 48 and you add 21 to it, it leaves you at negative 27, right? So negative 27. To finish, just add the 27 over. So 6x plus y minus 8z equals 27. And that would be the final answer. So a little bit harder than your typical uh, question. So I hope that uh, made sense.